Hey everyone, this is Todd Hazelton with MobileBurn.com. Today we're going to check out the BlackBerry Bold 9780, one of T-Mobile's latest BlackBerry devices. It's very similar to the BlackBerry Bold 9700, but it runs the BlackBerry 6 operating system and has a few other small tweaks to it. Let's get through with the unboxing now. Here's the device itself. You can see the form factor is exactly that of the 9700. Okay, we'll turn it on just a sec, but moving around you can see it has a lock button and a music button up top there. On the right hand side has a volume toggle keys as well as a camera shutter uh, quick launch button. Nothing on the bottom and over here we have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, micro uh, USB port, and a usual the push to talk button. Um, actually it's the voice command button rather. And on the back you have a 5 megapixel camera with an LED flash and that's an upgrade over the 3.2 megapixel camera on the BlackBerry Bold 9700. Go through the rest of the box here. We have tips and tricks, uh, get started guide, BlackBerry CD for the BlackBerry Desktop Manager, terms, conditions, another little booklet here. Also comes with this uh, leather carrying case if you ever had a BlackBerry before. Uh, that's what you can expect from all of those. Yeah. Some headphones with a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, as well as the AC adapter here. That's got a USB port on it and the actual USB cable itself. Let's power up the phone and we'll go through some of the features. Alright, here we are with the device on. Like I said, it's running the BlackBerry 6 operating system. That's the latest one, but unlike uh, the BlackBerry Torch, this one doesn't have a touch screen. Uh, so every interaction is used with this uh, optical key here. So we'll go through, click that little menu bar there, and we'll go through and you see you have a favorites list, uh, media, downloads, frequent apps, those are the most opened apps, and all, and again, that's everything that you have on the BlackBerry, sort of your main menu. It's also, I'll bring this a little closer here, the status bar. So you drop this down, you get a list of everything, your latest messages, latest uh, Facebook updates, BlackBerry app world. Now that can be edited by opening a social application. Here we go. It's called the Social Feeds app. And here's where you can add what shows up in that uh, drop-down filter. If we filter it, you can sign into AIM, Google Talk, MySpace, Twitter, Windows Live Messenger, and Yahoo Messenger. So pretty unique. Generally, I keep it just to email and text messages uh, and, and Twitter because if you have the Google status update, it sort of just gives you people's you know updates that they're away from their computer for lunch or generally things that I'm not too worried about getting updates on on my phone. Okay, some of the other features here, we'll go to the browser. I have Mobile Burn loaded. And it loaded pretty quickly, it does have Wi-Fi. And T-Bubble's 3G network here in New York performs pretty well. But it's a little hard to see things, and uh, given the low resolution screen, I believe it's uh, let's see, 480 by 360 resolution screen, so not that great uh, compared to some of the newer smartphones these days. Panning around's pretty good, but you can see here I'm kind of delayed going around uh, and a little more fluid there so overall it loads full websites but they're not great um, you're better off we'll go to our mobile site sticking to the more uh, mobile websites and here's our mobile site it's a little easier to read but sometimes the text is a little too big Generally, uh, not that bad of a web browser, though. It's uh, it's better than it was before uh, the BlackBerry 6 update. Of course, you have the text messages that are threaded. Uh, here's an example text, and you can also add some cool things. Uh, attach, picture, video, your location. I actually really like this feature. Audio, voice note, contact, or an appointment. Uh, the location's pretty neat. Let's see if you can get us right now. But what it does is it sends a uh, small thumbnail of your exact location. There we go. And so I can hit enter and send that right there. So if uh, you're at a restaurant, your friend's trying to figure out where you are, you can just do that, send it quickly to them. So I really like that. Calendar, not much has changed here. Let's see if we can go to month view. So pretty, pretty familiar. BlackBerry Messenger on here, uh, pretty similar to what you've seen in the past. App World, of course, 
This now supports carrier billing so you can uh, buy apps and charge it to your T-Mobile account. Let's see if I can show you some other new features. Facebook, this is an app anybody can download, uh, but I, I like it actually on BlackBerry. It's not as robust as on other platforms, uh, but it's very quick. Pardon the sirens there, we're in New York. <clears throat> But it's quick and it performs well on this. And again, this BlackBerry has a little more memory than the 9700 did. Uh, so it actually has 512 megabytes uh, versus the 9700's 256. You also get some instant messaging apps on here. Google Talk, AIM, Yahoo Messenger, and Windows Live Messenger. Let's see. T-Mobile has their T-Mobile Downloads uh, app. I, I rarely actually use this. Uh, the app world's much more robust uh, for those options. Media Center looks pretty good. Uh, music. I don't believe this has Wi-Fi sync though, which is a feature that the Torch had with the um, BlackBerry 6 operating system. So you'll have to drag and drop uh, your files over. 5 megapixel camera looks pretty good so far. I took a couple quick shots, but I'm generally pleased with the performance. Let's see if there's any videos loaded on here. I'll show you a sample video. It looks pretty crisp. The audio gets nice and loud. And I did make a few phone calls with this device. Uh, everything was very good uh, so far during my test. So generally pretty pleased. Fans of the 9700, uh, they're looking for a little more something, a little faster memory, uh, the newer operating system, and a little better camera. Uh, might want to check out this device. It's retailing now on T-Mobile. Again, this is the Bold uh, 9780, and it's selling for $129 with a new two-year T-Mobile contract. This is Todd Hazleton with TheMobileBurn.com.